Morning in one school in Durham is without a school zone speed limit. The principal of Research Triangle High School told CBS 17 it is driving him crazy and he wants the DOT to do more to keep his kids safe around campus. This morning I'm getting answers from the DOT about why there isn't a lower speed limit already. Highway 54 in Durham is busy. The speed limit on the four lane highway is 45. We are a public school and so all the same rules should still apply to us. And doesn't change near Research Triangle High School. It's a little irritating sometimes. I get emails from parents all the time saying it's unsafe. We're worried. Eric Grunden is the chief school officer. He tells me he's worried a student will get hit by a car. We've got a pretty busy highway going by here. And in the afternoon and the morning we have students crossing the street to catch the bus. We have parents turning left to drop off students for carpool. When this school open DOT placed this marking on the road telling drivers you are approaching a school. The head of the school says he wants to see more telling drivers to slow down. It would be great for our younger drivers and our less experienced drivers to be able to have that lower speed. We've been lucky enough never to have an accident. Brendan says they've been in contact with the DOT. We've spoken to DOT several times over the course of the seven years that our school's been on this street uh, and have never really gotten anything back about uh, the possibility of putting up a school zone sign. But DOT says this is the first time they are hearing about this concern. We want to get the message out. We want to see if there's a way that we can perhaps put a little pressure on, on the population to make our, our school zone safer. Traffic engineers say that school zone speeds are set low for a reason. Crash stats show if a vehicle going 20 miles per hour hits a person, that person has about a 90 to 95 percent chance of survival. As speeds increase, so does the chance of death. Now, school zone speed limits are set 10 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. I asked the state why this isn't the case on Highway 54. I was told not every school gets a school zone with a lower speed limit. The DOT says it is determined on a case-by-case -case basis and that it on student age, walkability, location, signals already present. After reaching out to CBS 17, the principal is now in touch with the DOT who says engineers will work with him to get something done. Of course, we'll keep you posted. If there is something that is driving you crazy on your drive, we want to hear about it. You can email me, lsmith at cbs17.com.